And we are live. Ladies and gentlemen, how's everyone doing on this beautiful weekend? Beautiful weekend. And I want to go ahead and open up. It's just something which I was just thinking about. Every single point in time in a person's life, there are seasons and moments where adversity hits, where there are circumstances beyond your control, where things called life happens. And it's during that time that character shows up, where that ability to rise again and again and again defines a man or a woman. And tonight, we're going to go ahead and talk about that because I do believe, without a shadow of a doubt, there was a comeback champion within you. And with that being said, I want to go ahead and welcome you all once again to another installment of Transformation Greatness as I decided to team up with the Small Business Network podcast to present to you episode 72, The Comeback Champion Within You. And I am your host, Sean White here, founder and creator of Transformation Greatness, also one of the partners and CEO of the Small Business Network. And this is going to be an amazing time. And I want you all as you tune in, as I'm live for Facebook, to go ahead and do its thing, of course. When you come on, please, by all means, put in hashtag live, guys. Let us know exactly on where you're tuning in from. If you've been knowing me for quite some time, you've been following me, you know that I love dialogue. I love interaction. I just love the art of engagement. Why? Because it lets me know as far as that. You're getting great value out of this, but more importantly, you are able to put your thoughts into this as well. And if you should be having to catch this on a replay because of the fact I, I get it, it's a Saturday, it's the weekend, you're probably spending time with family or you're out conducting business or just enjoying some leisure time and you just say, well, you know what? I want to catch this on a later date. It's all good. Put in a hashtag replay and let me know where you're tuning in from. It also too, uh, just another special announcement, uh, as I did mention as far as uh, some time ago, that working on something big here, guys, and I'm going to talk about this probably towards the end, but just let everybody know ahead of time, June 20th to the 24th, the five-day series of Comeback Champion with Shea Brown, yours truly, I get the honor of doing a keynote speech, which is going to be entitled Unleashing the Beast Within. Man, man, man. That is something that's going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. So, again, I'm just going to allow her Facebook to go ahead and do its thing. Let me go ahead and tag a few folks here because I know, like I said, Facebook, it may take a while as far as for individuals, you know, to really get the notification, different things of that nature. But I'm not going to hold you guys too long because I really want to get into this. And I don't want to rush to see her because this is going to be for... The right person they're going to be able to resonate with this and hear this not only as far as in their in their ears but also hear this in their spirit and i don't want as far as for the ideal person to really miss out on this so i'm going to tag some folks here and i apologize as far as for my camera bouncing back and forth but trust me this is going to be definitely definitely worth it for sure so I was going to tag one more person, then we're going to go ahead and get this rocking and mocking and talking as they speak. And then, as they say, the show must go on here. So it looks like we have one person in attendance, and it looks like here the mad scientist, a.k.a. Dr. James McConnell, is in the building. Dr. James, my brother, if you can just do me a solid, if you will, if you can just go ahead and let our respective groups and also our other co-hosts know that I'm actually starting... Um, actually right now and if they can come on and just you know um comment and also share this out just let everybody know that would be fantastic i'm ready to go ahead and get the party started so if you can do that for me i would definitely do appreciate that and with that being said guys let's just go ahead right because the right people is going to come in and they're going to get this information what inspired me to really come up with this topic. And I've just been thinking about this for like the past couple of weeks. And 
even in my own experiences, because currently right now I have a daytime job. And also many of you know, I'm an entrepreneur. I've been doing this, you know, for quite some time, you know, close to about 11 years, but still to many a young pup in this industry. And I just think about what really makes a comeback champion. What unique abilities or talent that a person possesses? What does a comeback champion even look like? Is there like a particular type of person, right? Is there a certain demographics to it? And what I discovered and what I do know for a fact is that a comeback champion, it doesn't matter as far as what age, it doesn't matter what race, it doesn't matter as far as what demographic, doesn't matter as far as what financial status in which that they have. This individual, man or woman, or even child, right, or even child, they just have that unique ability to bounce back. And it's very important because anyone that's about anything, that has any kind of value, that's looking to do anything, the comeback champion is someone that is resilient. These are individuals that are, no matter what people, dare I say, right? These are individuals that when the chips are, are the highest, when things are just coming at them left and right, when life is just sucker punching them, right? From the left and to the right. Oh, by the way, there's a huge fight coming up uh, later on this evening. This is where you land your mark. Because the comeback champion, which I believe is within all of us, decides and say, no, I won't be, be defeated. When individuals say that I cannot do it, there's something that's within you guys that say, yes, I can do it. Some people may label it either as ego, maybe pride, or maybe just flat out just determination and stubbornness and will, however you want to frame it. But the comeback champion, these are individuals that just won't give up. I have a feeling that somebody doesn't believe me. So let me go ahead and see if I can spin it another way. Let me give you some examples, right? Maybe that will help you guys because you may be saying, ah, yeah, that's something that Sean maybe read. Maybe he heard from somebody. So let me go ahead and give you some real life examples. And Dr. James allowed for me to go ahead and use you, if you will. Take, for instance, Dr. James McConnell, right? First of all, I want you to think about this. He's, he has received his doctorate. Now, anybody that has any kind of sense knows that, you know, doctors don't grow from trees, right? There's a certain level of commitment. There's a certain level of dedication in which that it takes in order to become a doctor in any kind of field. And this is the reason why that doctors are held in high regard because of the sacrifice in which that it takes in order to receive your doctor's degree, right? Everybody knows that. Some people are like, okay, Sean, duh, right? Yeah. But I want you to think about this with Dr. James, right? Because he received his doctorate in business. Do you know the amount of effort and resilience in which that it takes? I'm pretty certain during his journey of receiving his doctrine. And in, and in terms of building his business and his brand and his reputation and his name, or how many people told him that he was crazy? Or how many people told him that, man, have you lost your mind? You guys know what I wanted to say. And I want you to think about that, right? And I want you to think about how many naysayers or doubters that was pretty much flooding in his ears. And Dr. James had a choice. He could have even fed into that, right? He could have fed into it and said, well, you know what? Damn, man. You know, they right, man. This is hard, man. You know, this is no joke, man. Like, oof, I don't think I got what it takes, right? He could have fed into all of that, right? And could have just said, well, you know what? I'll do a nine to five or, you know, I'll just give me a business and I'll just be quiet about it and I won't make any kind of noise, right? Right. 
Now, this is where the comeback champion comes into play. So pay attention to what I'm about to say within Dr. James' story. He made a shift. And the shift is, it doesn't matter what the naysayers say. It doesn't matter what the doubters say. He looked at it as far as his, his situation and his life and everything that he has going on. And he made a decision and said, you know what? In spite of what's going to happen. How you doing, Joshua? Thank you so much for hopping on, my friend. Welcome. In spite of the situation, in spite of what the people are saying, I got to make this happen. Come hell or high water. So he decided to burn the boats. And I'm pretty sure you guys probably heard that before, right? Burn the boats. Tony Robbins. Shout out to Tony Robbins. And that's what he did. He burned the boats and he planted his flag. And he became a comeback champion on that day many, many years ago. And because of the fact of that resilience, because of the fact of that just the to itness and determination and, dare I say, stubbornness, right? Stubborn will. He has become the man that he is today and still growing, by the way. That, to me, is a mark of a comeback champion. Let me give you another example of a comeback champion. There's a, there's a young lady who's a partner and CEO of our firm with the Small Business Network. I call her twin. You guys affectionately know her as Chrissy Redding. Chrissy Redding is a mother of, of nine. And after going through a marriage that wasn't successful and going through so many different elements and phases in her life, she also had a choice to make. She could have either accepted what life was showing her. She could have accepted as far as the lows and all the mixed emotions that was going through. Mind you now, being a mother of nine, knowing now, having someone her other half that was not supportive and was abusive mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, she could have accepted all that and could have just decided to be a, a statistic but there was a shift. There was a moment. This is what I'm talking about, guys, with the comeback champion within you. Deep down in her spirit, she said, you know what? Like the lioness that she is, she said, no, I'm going to roar and I'm going to soar because I understand I'm meant here for a bigger purpose. And she decided to take her life back, if you will, and she decided to get immersed in learning the communication skills and learning therapeutic skills. Now she is able to serve on a much more higher spectrum. She is able to serve her clients. She is able to bring more value, more validation for what she's doing. People are looking at her as the true comeback champion that she is. Her name is Chrissy Redding. And ladies and gentlemen, I can give, even give you an example in my own lifetime. You're speaking to a gentleman that, yes, I'm a speaker. Yes, I'm a co-host here from the Small Business Network. Yes, I am the founder and creator of Transformation Greatness. Yes, all that is great and, and amazing. But there was a time in my life where I was even broken, not only from a confidence standpoint, not only from a self-esteem standpoint, I was broken overall. I'm talking about homeless to the point of death. You name it, I was there. And yes, I could have fed into the lie that, well, I guess this is, this is my life. I guess I'm going to be just like my father. I'm not going to amount to anything. Well, I tried, right? I mean, hey, I gave it a go. I tried to do the right thing. I tried to turn my life around. But Joshua, I guess this is what it is, right? I'm a statistic. Right? I'm just going to just lie for the government to take care of me. Okay, so be it. I can live with that. And nothing wrong with individuals that may feel that way because no judgment, no condemnation over here. But when I was in that shelter home, I came to grips. And there was a decision that had to be made. I could either accept it all that. And guess what? Nobody really would have cared all that much, except for my immediate family and friends, right? Or I could just say, like the comeback champion that I've been saying for the past five, seven minutes, or however, however how long, 
I said, no, 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 no. This will not be my legacy. I'm not going out like this. I know it has to be someone out there that can benefit from the gifts and talents in which that I have. And I know there are individuals that are out there that are willing to help me out and point me in the right direction. Just like when I was out there in the streets doing wrong, there were people out there in which I could look up to that can show me how to do this, show me how to do that, show me how to speak a little here, show me how to speak a little there. It's the same here on this aspect. So, as a comeback champion within myself, I was able to rise to the occasion and go through the process. Is this making sense to anybody? Joshua, is this making sense to you? Dr. James, is this making sense to you? Family that's watching attendance on the live or replay, is this making sense to you? If it is, give me some hearts. Give me some emojis. Let me know that you exist, that you are out there. I need to know if this is making sense. Okay, I see a thumbs up, so cool. I'll roll with that. And I can go on and on with countless, countless examples. But I want to ask you, I want to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, is there a comeback champion within you? Is there a certain spark? Is there a resilience? Is there a something that will not allow for you to quit even when things get rough, even when you're tired, even when you're sick, even when you're angry, even when people say as far as that you cannot do it, even when, you know, your loved ones around you just give up on you, even when someone close to you passes away, even when things look bleak, even when as far as your negative 900 in the bank account, which, true story, I, I was actually negative 900 in the bank, right? What will bring out that real you, that authentic you, authentic you. And I'm pausing for a reason. Because I want you to not only listen to this with your ears, I want you to listen not to your, through your heart, I want this to hit your spirit. I wanted to shake something up within you because there is a comeback champion in each and every single one of you. But what happens, just like it happened to me, is that when you surround yourself with the wrong kind of people, with those that have blinders on, that cannot see your vision, that is short-sighted, that cannot see what you see, you become blind. And you start to believe on what they believe because you're allowing for yourself to imprint that information. You're allowing for it to dominate your subconscious mind on a regular basis. But here's the beautiful thing, folks. When you surround yourself with the right people, when you surround yourself with the right material, positive reinforcement, affirmations, you're learning and growing each and every single day. When you're doing activities, when you are creating small wins, small things that you can do on a daily basis and you start seeing results, on a consistent basis, whether small or big, what happens is that this starts to remove the blinders. Now what happens, you start to see things more clearly. What happens now, because of the fact you are starting to create those small wins, you are starting to do the activities and the things in which that you are excited about, you are passionate about because it aligns with you so much. Now that comeback champion, it starts to build and it starts to build and it starts to build. And like a boxer, when you're in the ring, 
and when life is coming at you, when people are coming at you, and when circumstances are coming at you, right, and they're punching you, not only do you know how to block, but now you know how to, you know how to bob and weave, and even check this out, you know how to even counter punch, you get me? So now you're counter punching and you're fighting against all of that until one day the true combat champion roars. And this is how, ladies and gentlemen, how you know that you're on the right track is that when that circumstance comes, when adversity comes, when that negativity comes, instead of you counter punching, you come with a vicious bow, right hook. And adversity says, oh, oh man, that hurt, I'm gone. When cynicism and skepticism feels that, they say, oh man, you know what? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I, I, I ain't signed up for this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He, he, he or she is just too much. Mm -mm. I'll try another day. Then you notice a different shift about you. You notice a glow about you. Right, Major? People see that you are for real and that you are serious. And they understand that because it is the comeback champion that is within you and you are here for a purpose and you are here to offer your gifts and your talents to the universe and you will not be denied. Period. Point blank. End of story. So I ask you again, ladies and gentlemen, is there a comeback champion within you? Is it to where people that know you the most can now see you in a totally different light to the point that you're unrecognizable because they see the shift that is within you? Mm. On June 20th to the 24th, I'm going to be doing my keynote speech. And I mentioned this earlier um, today. Unleash the beast within you. And I'm going to be doing that keynote speech and I'm going to break down certain things. And I know that the right people, Joshua, Nadra, Dr. James, whoever else is watching this, is going to recognize this, Brother Melvin, is going to recognize this and they're going to be like, yep, that is me. That is me. You have to surround yourself with the people that are aligned with your future. No doubt about it. You want to surround yourself with comeback champions. You want to surround yourself with those that are doing great and amazing things. People that are positive. People that are making progress. That every single time that you hear from them, and you ask them how are they doing, instead of you hearing, the, oh, well, I'm okay, oh, I'm all right, you hear excitement, you hear joy in their voice, you hear that they're doing an event, they're doing a podcast, they're setting up events, they met this person that is of high influence, they met that person that's doing this, right? It's just an energy shift, and you just hear it and feel it, and what happens, just like when I gave you that example again, Instead of you just blocking, now you are actually punching. You are counterpunching because you're learning from others, ladies and gentlemen. They learn the art of counterpunching. And then what happens is that as you start to build and grow, what happens now, you learn how to hit what a vicious right hook or a vicious left hook if you're left handed. But you guys get what I'm saying here, right? The comeback champion is a special person. Just like the example that I gave you with uh, my twin, Chrissy Redding, which is now in attendance. Welcome, welcome. Chrissy, if you can do me a favor, if you can just go ahead and share this out to our respective groups, just let them know as far as that I'm on live. I would gladly appreciate that. I appreciate it. And Joshua says here, and I quote, you may have to let go of things and people that hold you back during your transformation. Oh boy, Joshua, you better believe it. It, it is necessary. And I want to touch on that as well, but this is part of the comeback champion. Great point, by the way, Joshua. You have to be willing to do so. And what happens is that 
we have a tendency, especially for those that we grew up with, you know, people that, you know, we became real cool with, we have a tendency to want to hold on, right? There's that loyalty, a sense of loyalty that we want to hold. And there's nothing wrong with that because, you know, there was at a point in time that they were actually there for you, right, in your life. They were, they were there as far as to hold you down. They were there to support you, motivate you, whatever the case, right? But as you start to elevate, as that comeback champion starts to grow and grow and grow and increase, if you notice that they're at the same level five, ten years ago, whatever the case, and they haven't changed at all, then they cannot go on where you're going because of the fact you're a totally different person. A totally different person. And they won't understand of who you are and thus they will become a hindrance. You don't believe me? I'll give you an example because you know I love to give examples here. <coughs> Excuse me. When I started on my journey and started to grow and shape myself into the person in which that I am today, and yet still growing and elevating, by the way, there are family members, there are friends, colleagues that I don't even connect with. And it's not to say that I don't love them. It's not to say I don't have love for anything like that. But it's just that we're going in two totally different directions. And their path and their way of thinking and way of doing is not conducive to my path and my way of thinking. And you have to be okay with that. As a comeback champion, you have to be able to understand and accept that as a setback, but it's set up for what? I'm surprised nobody even say that. I'm sorry. I'm thinking I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm in front of a live audience. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. But <laughs> a setback has to be set up for a comeback. That's why this is titled Comeback Champion Within You. And you have to be ready to feel that energy. You have to be able to experience it. Is this making sense to anybody? If this is, by all means, please feel free to put a comment in. Please feel free to like and share it. Give me some hearts, some emojis, something, ladies and gentlemen, something. Let me know that you're getting value out of this. Anybody? All right, cool. Joshua, my man, that's what I'm talking about. So in closing, guys, I want to go ahead and say this to each and every single last one of you. There is greatness in each and every single one of you. And each and every single one of you have the power to create radical transformation in your life. Each and every single one of you. It just boils down to what are your routines like? What are your habits like? What are you feeding your mind on a day in and day out basis? What are the activities? Who are the people that you are surrounding yourself? And I want you to take a very hard look at that this evening. I understand this society, and I get it. I get it. A lot of people, they just may want to relax. They may want to chill, you know, kick their feet up. All good. But you're a different kind of person. And because of the fact that you are looking to take it to the next level, you're willing to do something different. So I ask you to take a look at that and really find the areas that are not serving you and then question those. Say, why is it not serving you? And really get serious with it. Once you have done that, if you would like to discuss that and see as far as on what that looks like in terms of getting a better result, Please feel free to reach out to me. I would love to have a conversation with you and love to see as far as what that looks like and what type of insights and breakthroughs that we can come out of that. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode 72 of Transformation Greatness along with the Small Business Network. And I just want to 
cordially invite you. If this is something which that you would love to do, you would love as far as to be a guest and to be able to share your experience or even your business or your craft or your profession, and you would love to be a guest on this podcast, please feel free to reach out um, to me or to my co-host, um, Chrissy Redding or Dr. James or Roosevelt Russell. And we would love to go ahead and see what that looks like for you. In addition as well, for anybody that's looking as far as to take part in either TV or radio um, opportunities, such as having shows, um, we would love to hear from you as well. We have um, a talent show, I'm sorry, a talent expo in a small, and a business expo as well, which are definitely coming up. And if that looks very intriguing to you, we'd like to see what that looks like. By all means, um, just reach out to us as well. And until then, I appreciate each and every single one of you for hanging out with me on the Saturday evening. I know you can be doing anything else, anything, but for the fact you decided to come on and just hear me um, speak, it really means a lot. And with that being said, if what I stated on here either motivated, transformed, or inspired at least one person, at least one person, May God be the glory, and I take no credit for absolutely none of it. Until then, you're all fantastic. Enjoy the rest of your evening. By His grace and mercy, look forward to seeing you all on the next episode. Peace and love, family. Thank you for your time.